whoa okay first tutorial thingy this could be fun right so today I'm going to actually teach you how to make a mod menu for COD 5 I don't mean copy and pasting and putting it into the FF because that's a rather easy thing to do by any standards I'm actually talking about pure scripting it that's why you see a view of notepad plus plus at the moment which I'm going to show you how to do things on so yes I would definitely suggest getting this I don't know how many parts I'm going to do this in also so yeah this could be fun but I'm going to do it in a certain amount of parts which could get annoying because I know my voice is annoying and I know my keyboard's going to be annoying and I know my mouse is going to be annoying but it wouldn't be a good idea to mute me because then you won't have any clue what I'm typing so part one will most likely be the controls I don't know if I'm gonna get it all in there at this one time if I don't I'm sorry because it would be really helpful if I could then part two will most likely be just me finishing it off because well I'm going to be weird today because I've had no sleep I've been up all night and it's now 10 40 five in the morning which is really not a good time to do a tutorial especially when I've had no sleep been on Xbox all day oh yeah I need it to be like that I will try and stop doing stupid voices um first off well yes yeah, this correct rectangle it's made by K Dizzle or Dazzle some person and it's very helpful and a very good script I've never really figured out why he put that there so I've never taken that out but this will create your background HUD and your, um, yeah, basically. I would not suggest watching this if you have no idea how to script in this language. It's not exactly C sharp, but it's close enough, or Objective C is even closer. I don't know, GSC is sort of mixed between the both, maybe with that bit of C++ chucked in, but that's very unlikely. That's just Call of Duty for you. So. Well, yeah, let's get started. So first, this can be called anything, you should know if you're watching this. Oh yeah, first configure settings, you're going to want to put it to C sharp. Actually, for this one I'm going to actually do it in objective C, which I've never done before. Okay, now you can just see my screen and hear me talk, which is going to be annoying. Hopefully I'm not talking too loud. Uh, I probably sound crazy to anyone listening. Hopefully my phone isn't going to go off during this. Right, so we're going to first make a loop script, which I would definitely suggest putting your wait time to make it infinite loop right first, because I always forget that. Then you're going to want to put self, I don't know, um, should we start with the use button? So use button pressed equals that, that. If I make any errors, I'm sorry, I'm doing something a lot of stress at the moment so self dot we're gonna just quickly define stuff so let's put menu open to define if the menu is open obviously equals false and I don't like this already let's change it to C plus C sharp there you go script it better All right self dot we're gonna put the scroller loca location on it too but we are really defining this too early self dot menu let's call it self.menu scroller so I'm guessing you know why I put them in there self.menu yeah so I'm most likely going to define everything using self.menu in here I do this it's not something you have to do you can call, call any of this anything but make sure you know what it means because when it comes back to editing it you're going to get screwed if you have no idea default is naught um, is there anything else we need to do? Um, yeah, sure. We need to not be an idiot and add self dot menu open, open equals false. Okay, that gives that a bit back up. No, that equal true. Cause that started with the wrong thing. True. Right, let's quickly, let's use knife to open it, self, self melee, oh 
Oh yeah, if you're already lost on what the hell I'm doing, I really wish you would not watch this, because you don't want any comments asking me what's going on. Because I have said you need to have the basics of this language. Also, timer is there. I will pause this every time I do a new part, but I've got 15 minutes I can upload to YouTube each. And normally by this time I would have got half the scripts done, but I've been talking and confusing myself. So this one has it right with it. I'm going to tell you what everything does after I've scripted part of it. Menu open equals false. So if that insert now quickly comment that out. Put this in there. Soft menu. Never have a capital for the S. An idiot. Soft up. Soft up menu. Let's call it BG for background equals self. Equals self. Correct rectangle. Put that there. Put that there. And we'll just copy that script. Actually, I don't know why I've commented that out. I was just being lazy, I guess. So. This is going to be the background. I would suggest commenting everything you're going to need. This is going to be the scroller. I'm doing this fast because I don't want to take it over of two parts because that will be boring for everyone, including me. Not something I want to do. Yeah. Um, let's put it in the center. Well, it's just aligning it, so I'm not doing anything special right now. This is where you position it on your screen. All I know is the left and the top are minus numbers and the bottom and the right are plus numbers. I will show you that in a minute. So if we're going to put, I don't know, should we make it go straight onto the screen or put animation? Animation's going too far in it, so I'll do a different video for that. So we're going to put it, I'll put it where my mod menu is currently. It's going to be 250 by naught, because that puts it directly in the center. The width, very obvious, just pull it to 390, which is decently good size for a width for the HUD. Then, I don't know, height by a thousand, just so it fills the screen. Color, it's just the RGB codes, hopefully you know this. So, yeah, I'll show you something else with that later. I'm going to put that as black. That is default for black. Sort, put it at the bottom, so naught. Alpha, one. Shader. White. Right, as every modder should know, co copy and paste is the, like, any person that knows how to use a computer's best friend. So that needs to be put to 1, that is staying like that, that is now going to turn to, we're going to have the shader at 25 in the height, so it's going to be about the size of our text. Um, that's in the right place, but instead of it being naught this time we need to make it about where we're going to put the text, so I'd say minus 160, so it's going to be higher than it, than, yeah. <laughs> Bad description, right. Actually already taken this over the time I wanted to. I've only done the melee button. So I am going to really rush ahead. So I'm going to pause it quickly and I'm going to sh quickly script everything so I can show you what happened. Right, okay, I am back. It's still the same minutes because I paused it. This literally only took me about two minutes to do. Okay, what I have done is I have added some two more controls which is ADS button pressed and I should have not been stupid and added um, attack button pressed which is the shoot button pressed so when you shoot it will scroll I have found a new way to do this and it's very cool and extremely nice and smooth to do but the way we are doing it today will not allow me to show you that because it, we need to make this simple for obvious purposes. Okay, I've added this to show you if it's opening so you haven't failed with this script. Only a debugging reason you don't have to do that. 
then we are making this equal true so all these commands under here work. If that does not equal true, everything down there works and you're pretty much just going to constantly open the menu because that equals false. Then if can close, this is just like um, a fail safe so you don't open the menu and suddenly close it by... I don't know why you would tap that button again but it's good to have a fail safe in there definitely. So right, we've done that and I have added this and we need to make the text before we can actually destroy it so I've gone a bit far in with the controls. I think I'm actually going to have to make this three parts, maybe four, hopefully not four because that would really extend it out and I don't know how long my voice can last because I'm trying to keep it out of a really weird one which doesn't work ever. Um, that is probably the hardest one to script, especially since I can now do it off memory, which just shows you how many times I've done this. So right, I'm going to quickly script the um yeah, the scrolling function, which can pretty much be copied and pasted on both of them. Sort of a hint towards what you can actually do to shorten this code down. So I don't know how fast I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to pause it because I want you to watch how I do it and see if you can actually recreate it a new way for yourself because that'd be quite cool. So first we're going to put um a bit. Of, we're going to make it so if it goes to the bottom, then it will scroll up, and if it goes to the top and over the top, then it will scroll back to the bottom. So if self dot what we added up here self dot menu menu scroller. Scroller is greater than self dot menu um, uh, text. Right, sorry, I've done this way too fast. Can I just pause it and build? Right, I've had to quickly script this. Yes, I know. I did want to actually show you this, but an important part has come up which I need to show you. So, yeah, we need to make this. Um, I need to show you how to do this because it comes up a lot. So i equals not, and then i it has to be greater no lower fail it has to be lower than the self the self dot menu text, which will be the text that is displayed on the screen, and then put it into an argument which is menu, which we're going to define up here, which is menu. And then we need to do it for the dot size, so the size of the self dot menu text array. And then i has to plus plus, which is just making it plus every time there is for the size of self dot menu text, which we I'm just sorting the script out tidily now. Actually getting to 13 minutes in the text, so this need, now needs to be so the t set text will be self dot menu text, then by the argument menu. Oh yeah, the terminology I'm going to use is shit. I'm really bad at terminology. I really don't know what much this is called because I've never really like learnt this by a nerd. It's a nerd status type thing. But yeah, that is just made the text that will display display on the screen. But we technically needed to make the add menu function, which is quite cool. But we won't get into that yet. So what I'm going to just quickly do is self dot menu. Text. Yeah, you can follow this and just type down everything I do, but it's, it's going to end up with the same product. And this will most likely have a bug because I'm not going to script it amazingly. Not the best thing to actually say. But we're going to put two more arguments in it, which will be that and equals. I've actually forgot them so many times and it wouldn't scroll. And I was wondering why. And I literally hit myself in the head when I figured it out equals text so another argument so up here we're going to put menu by number by text there needs to be about three more added to that but there you go so it's going to show that text every time a new one of them is added by the number and the number is defined by i because i is plusing every time for the menu dot text size i'm really rushing this i'm sorry I'm going to have to pause it in like 30 seconds, but I have, we can now finish off this function up here. So as soon as I come back, I will actually show you that function, but first I have to render this video, which will probably take ages because I've got it going at 30 frames per second. So yeah, it's going to actually be really smooth, hopefully. And my mouse is really fucked.
So 51, 2, who cares? Okay, bye.